They call him the emperor. And after nearly 40 years in power, 77-year-old Denny Sasu Ngueso wants five more. His rule of the Republic of Congo has been blighted by debt crises and corruption scandals, which he says he'll end. We'll put an end to immoralities, which are called corruption, theft, laziness and indiscipline, and absenteeism. Do you understand? A lot of the people here don't really look like they're paying a lot of attention to the president's speech. It's normal for people to be paid to attend political rallies here in Congo and given t-shirts and caps, but it's only really the ruling party that has enough resources to do that on any kind of scale. No expense was spared here at the final rally of his campaign. A French public relations company helped to run it, but not everything followed the script. When people started chanting, end the curfew. It's in place to prevent the spread of COVID. Sasu Ngueso didn't have anything to say about it. Some opposition parties and politicians are boycotting the election. Others are in jail after disputing the result of the last poll. Matthias Zon is one of the six opposition candidates running this time. He's a former finance minister of Sasu Ngueso's government. All of our money is outside the country. Is it normal? We're living here in our country, but our money is outside. Do you know in which accounts? In private accounts. Some in the political opposition and rights groups say there's no space for a democratic process. Most fear to speak out about it. Joe Abina is one of few who does. Nobody believes in democracy. It's a dictatorship. It's uh, definitely a country where human rights are violated. So you cannot consider this country as being a democracy. I mean, people are in jail. People will be running for election are in jail. So this is not a democracy at all. Few people expect an outcome other than Sasu and Gueso being announced the winner. The last handout of the day was soft drinks and water thrown over the fence of the nearby Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Congo's billions of dollars of oil revenues haven't helped most of its people. COVID has made things even harder. People say the only time politicians give anything is during elections. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Brazzaville, Republic of Congo.